Are you wondering why the first part of my Egypt Beach job was mostly this box? That was the first part. Now, in the second part, I will give you all the tips and advice how you can really stretch your money wisely in Egypt, minus the hassle, the scam, and the worries. The difficulties that I had in my first Egypt video due to the uh, editing software that I use. I promised myself that I will do the second part so that I can really give you the best tips and advice. It's not only about money. I tell you there are great things in Egypt but there are also some bad signs. Okay, I will give you two options by a true company or by doing it on your own. There are some advantages in a true company, but it costs a lot, okay? However, doing it on your own, you have to listen to my advice first before you go there. First, the fact about your company. Currently, this time 2018, if you travel uh, more than a week, let's say 8 to 12 days, or 15 days because traveling on a one week or less it is not complete you will not enjoy you will never able to see most of the beautiful uh, temple and sites in Egypt in Luxor in this one and so many other places so you have to do it more than a week or so okay let's say 8 to 12 days travel you will have to pay more than thousand US dollar currently and it will cover your hotel, your breakfast in the morning, and uh, transportation to every site, some water and snacks along the way. And that's it. You have an option between three or five star hotel. Of course, five star hotel is more expensive. And uh, you still have another option. We will give you an option if you want to go. Uh, Hot air balloon ride or Filuka ride, which an additional payment for you. Now, if you think uh, you can do it by your own, then you have to listen to this advice that I have. Okay? Facts and advice how to do it on your own. First, before you fly to Egypt, make sure that you have booked your first hotel upon arrival. Because you might arrive at the evening, it's very hard to find, okay? Try to book your first hotel. And uh, if you book some five or four star hotel, for sure they will pick you up from the airport. But if you book like two star or dormitories or hostel, for sure you have to uh, book someone like tourist guide or driver from online. So that they can pick you up from the airport especially if you arrive very late in the evening and number two once you arrive in cairo or in any cities visit your embassy your country embassy and inform them of your existence for example you are going to to stay in egypt for a month or more it is very important that, that your embassy knows about your existence so that if anything might happen to you there, you can call them and they can assist you. And number three, if it happened that the first hotel that you stayed, the first two or three nights, you don't like it, there are plenty, plenty of uh, hotel and hostel you can ch choose from. There are like a haunted mansion, haunted hotel without customer. But don't worry. You're not haunted. And uh, these hotels are very near to Tahrir Square. In Cairo, huh? there are a lot of hotels and hostels near Tahrir Square. Some like uh, uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes away from Tahrir Square. These hotels that I'm telling, telling you about are very, very cheap. Uh, ranging from hostel dormitory, ranging from 6 to $12. And uh, they have a free breakfast, free Wi-Fi, 
and uh, blower in the shower room and uh, when when you get to Tahrir Square you will find all the uh, nice place to see like the National Museum it is there and uh, the go bus station if you want to go there to outside Cairo like uh, Dahab or Sham the bus station is just around the corner and you can also visit the pyramid complex by the subway station just beneath the National Museum and you won't believe how cheap it's only a penny right two pounds to go to the national to the pyramid complex now about the prices of entrance fees in the temples in national museum in pyramid complex and mo most of them are ranging from 75 to 100 pounds okay if you want uh, an Egyptologist or a tour guide who speak multi-language you can get and you can negotiate with them how much you're going to give them okay let's talk about safety Egypt is a very safe country these people are very conservative open-minded and polite the woman especially the adult they don't need to wear a baya only tarha or they cover their hair for decency and uh, I could say one time going back to my hotel after going around uh, the city of Tahrir Square I go back by my own I was thinking it was just very near I lost my way like 11 p.m. in the evening and believe me there are dark places I've been through going back to my hotel and nobody bothered to chase me or to talk to me they are very very safe people and also when I go to Luxor from Hurghada to Luxor I travel the whole night by bus and to tell you the truth this bus is full of men we are only two women on the bus the one woman is with her husband and me on the, uh, on the middle part of the bus I was sitting next to, not, to an old man believe me at first I was very worried not about me about my about my bag you know I was thinking that maybe someone will took my bag and take my money well uh, believe me the whole night I was so relaxed I don't worry about nobody even bothered to look at me and I get to look so in the morning safe and sound now in every hotel you you will be visiting or you will be checking in they have some kind of tour package in their own version most of them are very cheap but if you don't like their tour version whether near or far you can ask them you, they can give you any information you want so that you when you want to do it by your own they will give you all the information how to get there how much is the price of the bus how much is the ride for the loka nile cruises and this and that so uh, like in, in uh, luxor well, if you want to go to a hot air balloon every hotel they, they offer the hot air balloon for very cheap 100 pounds only and also in sham el sheikh if you want to go scuba diving in Hurghada, Dahab, or Sharm el Sheikh, very cheap. Thirty dollars is okay. So it's worth it. There are many things, great things, about Egypt, and it's worth visiting. Now, I will give you the bad side of Egypt. The hassle, the scam that you have to. Number one. Don't forget, huh? drivers, when you're walking along the street, drivers and shop owners will chase you down. They will irritate you. They will follow you. And uh, don't entertain them because you might end up waiting for the price. You might end up ugly. Be wise. If ever that you become tempted, tempted to their 
products or services become interested with that make sure that whatever price they offer to you cut it into half so that they will not take advantage of you and do not bring the whole price unless the product has been delivered has been given to you before or the services to you the promised service to you has not been fully uh, given to you don't pay the full price because one time i i get a taxi and i thought when i get to the pyramid i will order, i will you will take me inside the pyramid complex and to my disappointment he 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 gave me to another uh, driver which this driver also is asking for the same price so i was so disappointed also in Luxor. They passed me to another driver. It was very disappointing. It's a really scam. And also, I bought some perfume in um, Pyramid Complex. He gave me this uh, thing. And he said, if I light, if I put some candle here and light it up, this uh, scent, this perfume will give me all the scent I need in the room. So I thought it is, it's a real magical, it's so good. So I bring some and one of uh, this item I gave it to my boss when I got home. I was so disappointed when I put candle and light it in, it doesn't give me any sense. Seems like the perfume is not so strong. It seems so weak that it cannot give my room, a small room, the scent that I really want. And also in Luxor. In Luxor, uh, they promised that they were going to give me a video uh, down the water uh, for scuba diving. And after that, when I get to the hotel, there is no video at all. They just give me some five or six picture of the city, which is which worth 200 pounds. So I was disappointed. Even in hot air balloon, they promised to give me a video when I'm going up in the hot air balloon. Just to find out later that the city they gave me is only a picture of the person I really don't know who is. So be careful. Don't just believe them. Another hassle that I had in Egypt is uh, about the food. Well, if you're dieting, well, it's good for you to hear about this but if not like me I don't have any intention for diet but I lost more than five pounds five kilos in 16 days travel because uh, I cannot get the taste I am my taste but doesn't agree with any food I want most of them are kubos and hummus and uh, sometimes I eat noodles just to to relieve my hunger and there is only one restaurant, the Italian restaurant in Luxor, that I really enjoy. There is steaks for only 150 pounds. But most foods in a small cafeteria restaurant are very, very cheap. Okay. And everywhere you go, there are people who will ask you for a tip aside from the payment, like the driver, like the tourist guide. And uh, many people who will give you service, they will also ask or a tea but don't worry you can give them 20 to 50 pounds as you your heart can speak for for, for yourself and uh, because uh, the reality is that uh, before Egypt is swarming with uh, tourists from all over the world just before the revolution took place and now most of them are losing their job and uh, of course they have to survive so the only thing is you can understand but it's still worth visiting Egypt G Egypt is uh, one of the most popular uh, tourist destination of every traveler it's not only because of its monument but its phenomenal history it is one of kind she is very unique so just get there and be be vigilant be be wise and uh, 
enjoy your time. It's worth traveling to Egypt. Good luck and have a nice trip.